Hey there, Star Wars enthusiasts. Welcome back to Chop Stop, and I've got an important message to share with you today. Did you know that a whopping 75% of people who watch our videos haven't subscribed yet? And that's where you come in. We've been creating amazing content for you, and if you've been enjoying our videos, laughing along with us, learning new things, or just having a great time, we kindly ask that you hit that big red button and join our incredible community. By subscribing, you'll be part of something truly special. Hey guys, Chop Stop back again, and in today's video, we're going to be going over um, the life of Ahsoka Tano, which is one of the main characters in the Clone Wars and in Rebels and in the new Mandalorian shows. Let's get In this video, it. we're going to be doing a year-by-year -year description of Ahsoka Tano's life from her birth in 32 BBY to post-Empire in 4 ABY. So let's get straight into it. In 36 BBY, Ahsoka Tano was born on the planet Shili to the Togrutas named Pav T and Nak Il. But early in her life, Tana was taken on a journey by her mother, who taught her about life and death. During that period, the young girl had an encounter with a Rakshir feline, which she reached out to without fear. She proceeded to ride atop the animal to return home. Upon her return, the elder, the elder Togruto, Jantiki, Jantika, re how do you say, it? Jantika realized the infant was force sensitive and declared that she would be a Jedi. When Tana was three years old, she was discovered by Jedi Master Plo Koon among her people in Shili, after her natural ability to sense the intentions and feelings of others had marked her as Force-sensitive. After rigorous training that was accelerated by the Galactic Conflict, the Jedi Council finally sent Tana on her first mission to the planet Christosis in order to meet her new mentor and inform Kenobi and him that they were needed back at the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. However, after arriving on the planet, moments after a wave of Separatist forces pulled back and giving the message to the two, she learned that the Republic had in fact failed to take the planet as the Jedi on Coruscant had believed, leaving the generals and their forces trapped and outnumbered. As the battle dragged on, Kenobi introduced himself, presuming that she was his new Padawan learner. She corrected him, insisting that Master Yoda specifically assigned her to Anakin Skywalker, who was shocked to hear the news due to the fact that he had spoken adamantly against the idea of taking on a Padawan learner. Despite Kenobi's confusion, he accepted that having a Padawan would be good for Skywalker, who vehemently disagreed. The events leading up to Ahsoka's departure began with her being falsely accused of crime during the Clone Wars. Despite her unwavering loyalty, she found herself on trial, facing charges that threatened to tarnish her reputation and the trust between her and her mentor, Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker was desperate to prove Ahsoka's innocence and presented evidence that cleared her name. But even with her innocence established, Ahsoka's faith in the Jedi Order had been shaken to its core. With a heavy heart, Ahsoka made a pivotal decision. Despite the Council offering her the rank of Jedi Knight if she came back, she chose to walk away from the Order, feeling that her true path was somewhere else. Ahsoka's departure made a significant moment of growth and self-discovery. She needed to find her own truth, forge her own destiny, and she had to come to terms with the complex nature of the Jedi Order, even if it was a mix of sadness but determination. And that's how Ahsoka's Tano journey as a Jedi came to an end. But as we know, her story did not stop there. Ahsoka's path would lead her to new adventures, alliances, and a legacy that would inspire generations to come. After Ahsoka was falsely accused of the bombing of the Jedi Temple, and after she, to, she stood trial, she became a wanderer. Ahsoka embraced a nomadic lifestyle, exploring her own path and taking time away from the Jedi Order and the Force. In the Siege of Mandalore, Ahsoka engaged in a climactic lightsaber duel with Darth Maul during the Siege of Mandalore, seeking justice for his crimes. She defeated him, but chose not to kill him after he revealed his fear of Darth Sidious. Only for you to take his place. I give you one last chance. Join me. Or die. Never. We're all going to die! You don't know what you're doing! 
Although many targets of Order 66 were killed by their own soldiers, Ahsoka Tano escaped with the help of clone Captain Rex after removing his inhibitor chip to free him from the brainwashing. Tano was with the now clone Commander Rex and the 332nd Division on board the Venator class Star Destroyer Tribunal at the time of Order 66. Something terrible has happened. Rex? No! I'll do it. After surviving Order 66 and fashioning graves for the fallen clones, which included leaving behind her lightsabers, Ahsoka parted ways with Rex and took on the name Ashla and settled on the Outer Rim planet of Thabeska for close to a year, befriending the locals but fleeing once the Empire had arrived. Later, around 4 BBY, Ahsoka encountered the crew of the Starship Ghost, consisting of Hira Sindali, Kanan, Ezra Bridger, Sabine, and Zeb. Ahsoka became an ally to the new rebel crew and joined them in their fight against the Galactic Empire. Around this time, Ahsoka discovered that her former master, Anakin Skywalker, had become Darth Vader. They had a tense confrontation on the Sith world of Malkor, engaging in a lightsaber duel. Ahsoka chose to walk away rather than kill him. We'll confess what you will not. I was beginning to believe I knew who you were behind that mask, but it's impossible. <laughs> I won't leave you. Not this time. Then you will die. Ahsoka! The last canon event for Ahsoka was her search for Ezra Bridger. Following the events of Star Wars Rebels, Ahsoka embarked on a quest to find her friend Ezra Bridger, who had gone missing. Her journey led her to the uncharted regions of the galaxy. And I want to take this end of the video to thank you all for watching, and I want to explain that it is uh, factual information that Ahsoka in the Mandalorian and the entire like Mandalorian series is not Star Wars canon. Um, if you would like to see an explanation of her story that would make Mandal the Mandalorian canon, drop a comment below, like the video, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Uh, we have a Discord you can also join um, in the description below. So if you like what you hear, 
uh, go ahead and join it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.